just reading what that defense gave me. You know, they, they gave me the lane and, and just, I, I took it. Muff Ashley going down there in the first quarter. Uh, was that a big part of why you, you shot a few more shots? You know, you need to help someone score. You can't just all be jazz. Um, I probably would have still shot 20 times, even with Ashley on the court, uh, for some reason. But but no, it, it was just a mindset to, to, uh, today to, to be aggressive, going to the basket and getting there. It looked like you were well on your way to your career high of 20, and you had, you had 12 in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. um, your mindset, did your mindset change? You finished with eight assists, trying to get other people involved. Oh, oh, definitely. It, my job still is, is to make sure that that Bert, Kayla, and the rest of the people still get the ball right wherever they want it, Jazz, wherever they want it. So I, I, I can't forget that. So, so second half came and, and it was like get, get everybody else involved. So, what, what do you think was different about going against the Zen versus a team that plays man-to-man -man defense, and how do you feel about that? Um. We just have to learn how to be aggressive throughout a zone. And, and sometimes we get stagnant when we see a zone because we're so used to of, of being aggressive playing one-on-one -on -one against the man. So so it's just it's just all about being aggressive towards a zone. Jazz kind of found your rhythm there in the second and third quarter, started getting hot. Just what do you think that was a product of? Um, well, the first half, I was kind of like testing the waters, seeing how they were going to guard me. Um, they were all over me, so I had to figure out ways uh, just to get to a sweet spot. Um, I think I did a better job of that in the second half. To, to what extent did the mentality change when you see Ashley go down early in the game like that? Um, I mean, it, you know, you definitely – I it, I always had the same mentality. You know, I want the ball, I want to, you know, I want to score, and I want to win. So it didn't change, you know, that's my girl, but it didn't change. Muff did her thing. Everybody else, you know, they stepped up and did a little, like a little bit more of the little things, um, which helped a lot. Um, it was, it was kind of tough when, you know, your second leading scorer is out, but, you know, Muff did a great job of putting up 21 shots or 20 shots and making, you know, seven of them and, and going to the line at that. Um, Kayla did a five for five, like <laughs> as a freshman, that's, that's awesome. So. You know, everybody stepped up, made it a little bit easier on me, not putting on the load on me um, as a dominant scorer. So 22 points, uh, four for nine shootings, third 20 point, 20 plus point performance. Do you think this would be a start or something? Um, I mean, I'm not going to try to make it something <laughs> if, if that's what you're asking, but I just got to let it come to me. If I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. If I'm not, then I'm going to do other things, you know, try to make it work. Kayla, you started your first uh, career game here at JMU. At some one point, you found yourself on the bench, but since then, you seem to, to really progress week after week. How is the game changing for you? Is it, I mean, is it slowing down? And what, what are you seeing from, from through your eyes? Um, I mean, what you said about slowing down, I think so. Just learning, like, where I need to be on the court in order to be successful. Like, if Muff is driving, knowing to be ready for the ball, if the shot goes up, hit somebody first. So I think. Just learning where I need to be on the court is getting a lot easier. Career high, 16 rebounds, and you tied your career high with 10 points as well. Um, you're like the focal point, I guess, you and Didi when it comes to rebounding. To what extent do you think that makes up the identity of the team and being a good rebounding team? Um, I think, like, the on defensive end, the quicker we get the rebound, the more Muff can do what she does and get the ball out and, and get scoring and transition. On the offensive end, the more rebounds we get, the more chances we get. So, I mean, I think that just helps. The, the more rebounds we get, the more chances we get with the ball. They are a cleanup crew. Yeah. Eight, eight offensive rebounds. When a shot goes up, are you going to the basket every time looking to get the rebound and clean up? Basically, yeah. Also, how does it feel to be in such a position so early? Um, it's kind of tough sometimes. When you say tough, how, how tough? Uh, just because, like, a lot of times, like, mistakes, like, you got to make a lot less mistakes. But um, just learning from them, basically, it's helping me get through that, so. And just for anyone, just um, what Sarah, Karen, and Rachel Pearson came in, averaging 29 combined to top seven scorers in the CAA, you guys hold them. Uh, 15 combined points and Karen did most of her damage in the fourth quarter. What was the 
mentality, I guess, did you guys, was that part of the game plan, trying to stop them, or did it just happen? Yeah, no. Um, it, Drexel is a very structured, they have a very structured offense. And it, it's different. It's different than any other offense that we're ever going to, you know, defend in, in the conference. So our focus mainly was just, you know, what we worked on, what, two, three days is, right. you know, just don't get backdoored. You know, they're, they're like, honestly, they, they're really good at what they do on their offense. And that's why they, you know, they averaged 29 points combined, I think. Um, but, you know, we, we did, we had each other's backs. Um, we did a great job guarding all their shooters, um, even their post play. We we did a great job. I, I think we I think we did a good job, a great job. Coach O harped the whole entire week about they're going to score, mm -hmm. and and don't get down on yourself and don't don't hang your head. Just just one, don't stop, and then two, if they do score, get it and go. And, and so we were so ready to get it and go that we, we we were really determined to get that stop so we can get it and go, and and. and Whoever guarded Pearson, Bert guarded her. A lot of people guarded her, did a heck of a job on her. I, I think they did a really good job making other people from Drexel have to step up and score for them.